Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Mason County. This is a map by Poor Boy. It is 692.14 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, but yeah, this is where you start off. And it's, um, it has a very long description. So I'm going to probably just read the first couple paragraphs because it's extremely long. Um, so it says, Welcome to Mason County. Map is loosely based off the West Virginia side of the Ohio River Valley farmlands. I decided that Mason County as it had a or has a lot of farming and industrial areas. Uh, the Kanawha River dumps into the Ohio River in this area and is home of the Mothman Point Pheasant is where he resides. Or, or home of the Mothman, comma, Point Pheasant is where he resides. There you go. After years away, you have made your way back home. A friend let you stay in a carport. It's a place to sleep in out of the weather. I don't know about that. Uh, you spent uh, what little savings you had on some very used equipment. Picked, pick up in a small field uh, beside your friend's place and a small area down the road. The business across the street has allowed you to park your equipment until you get a place of your own. Uh, you start with baby animals and own all the pens, but not the land that they are on. Um, they also are not sellable. So there you go. And it says, well, I guess we can read this part here. And now that you're back home, it is time to see if you can bring a small community back to life. Uh, like you remember it, you start with 100K, but depending on what chainsaw you buy, it is possible to start from 0, 25, 50, or 75K. This is, this is a start from scratch feature only. Um, so you only have that available if you start from scratch. I'm assuming that's not available to us then. Um, if we go to chainsaws. Oh, no, they're available to us. So yeah, you could, that's kind of cool. I, I really like that as a feature. I think that's a really smart way to do that. But anyhow, here we are. Let's hop into the map. Take a look here. Uh, where are we at is a great question. We are oh, right here. There we go. So this is the business across the street. Our friend must live somewhere in here, somewhere on that small field. Uh, so there you go. Oh, we do own that the portion of the uh, river behind us. That's kind of nice, I guess. And that property there. And we also own that chunk of land right there, which you could sell for 107000 if you wanted to. Uh, but there you go. So kind of a nifty little map. I like this. Um, yeah. Plenty of forestry through it. Plenty of stuff going on around the map. So yeah, cool little map. Um, there are black beans and peas at the end of the map. You can see they're part of the custom, the custom oh, good Lord, the custom crop uh, calendar here. Uh, so there you go. Um, from there, do we have anything else? So we have a lot of extra stuff on here. So uh, we have corn straw, compost, soybean straw, alfalfa, alfalfa, hay, black beans and peas, of course, asphalt, coal, dirt, gravel, sand, iron ore, pay dirt, crude oil, kerosene, tar, uh, tires, cement, stone powder, limestone, bark, asphalt pallets, cement pallets, charcoal, empty pallets, drum barrels, corn oil, seeds, well, seeds are not new, I guess. Pipes, sawdust, gold, gold bars, find your pallet, trash cans, plywood, glue, glue pallet, household, junk car, dry lumber, nails, new tire, rubber, outhouse, fire, outhouse, <laughs> firewood, uh, car, wheel, junk dozer, junk loader, good lord, junk tank, junk tanks, cheap empty paper, junk <laughs> tanks, where's junk tanks? Oh, sorry, cracks me up. All right. Anyhow, there's a hundred. You start with a hundred thousand dollars in new farm mode, no starting loans or anything like that. Again, you do own all these animals. It looks like they have some feed to start, so uh, that's not bad. But yeah, you do have a nice, nice baby piglets and things. Yeah, so there you go. Contracts in the fields you do not own. Uh, no production chains that you start off owning. There are 100 collectibles, so there you have it. So we're going to turn that off. Um, and we're going to turn well, that doesn't matter. Sorry. I'll turn that on. There we go. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, we're right over here. Let's take a look in the store at what our starting equipment is. Um, we start off with a John Deere 7810, a uh, Deutz Far top, and you can see these guys have a lot of hours on them. Deutz Far top liner 4090H harvester, as well as a header and a header trailer for that harvester. An old pickup truck with 2,700 hours on it. Um, a Welger DK115 trailer. We also have a cedar there for us. A small mower, forage wagon, forestry equipment there, front loader attachment, and then a universal bucket to go with that so there you go and nothing least so i'm assuming our friend lives here thank you friend for letting us live in your carport well i guess we have a little area in here we could go in there so that's okay then all right and now we own this field nice waterfall in the background there and then we can park stuff at this guy's business because he's very nice um yeah so there's that um that's what we got going on this is our starting farm that is everything. What do we have right here, though? What is this? Oh, this is the building part. I'm not going to look at all the custom production chains. I'm just going to be just honest with you. I believe these have all 
I believe you check out any of my map tours of any other poor boy maps. I believe a lot of these I covered actually. So I'm trying to go buy all the productions individually to check them out because I think this video would become a six hour video. But yeah, we'll drive around the map, take a look at some things here. So yeah, I think what we'll do is hop in our truck. We'll probably head out this way, maybe head up around and back down somewhere like this ish. We we'll probably won't go down there and then kind of loop around some of the map. Most of it will probably hit as a flyover just based on how it's kind of set up. Um, I don't really want to bring these seeds with me. So I'm going to, I'm just going to just grab those. Nope. Oh, they're, they're tied down. That's what's going on here. There we go. Okay. Let's get these out of there. We don't need to bring those with us. Okay. So off we go. We have a sleep trigger, and we have that guy's business there, which is the tar and glue guy, I believe, if I remember correctly. There's sugar cane right next door. That's wild. Um, we have a sell point right here on our right-hand side. This is the res residential sale. We have, looks like several residential sales. So some people randomly buy stuff. Um, yeah, so a lot of residential sales. That's kind of a cool feature, actually. Another residential sale there. So if we head straight here, lights in the water down there? That probably looked pretty cool at night. Uh, if we head straight here, that takes us up around to the gold production, so just be aware of that. The traffic is flying on these roads, it looks like. But we'll head up this way, on the back. And I, I'm going to fast forward time just a little bit, just so it's a little bit brighter out for us. There we go. Nice little fire department here on that side, and then that's a is that spinnery back there? Yep, spinnery back there. Um, I don't know if it connects out the other side or not. It looks like it might. Uh, yes, there we go. Little back entrance there. Uh, up here we have ourselves uh, quite a few things actually going on. So we have, let's get out of the trees there. So in the back there, we actually have the store. So we have the vehicle shop. Uh, we have the dealership selling station. Then we also have a used tires production. Um, and then we have the Red Marble Bowling Restaurant, which is right here next to us. Uh, so we have all that. And then as we're heading out this way, is that in our resident? No, see the bakery. Bakery, I say, is that in our residential sale there? But it is the bakery point right there for us. So, bakery. There you go. A lot of stuff going on up in there. As we're continuing down this way, let's see what we got here. It looks like we probably have... Uh, okay, East Grain and Bulk. A cell point right here. East Grain and Bulk. There you go. That one rock and rolling for you. Yeah, I think we'll take a right down there. Uh, if we were to go straight, we have obviously, you see the grocery mart right there. So if we went straight, we'd hit the grocery mart there. But we are going to take a right to head back down, I think, uh, over this way. So, Coming down here at the bottom, we're going to have the wood dryer right on our left. So there's the wood dryer. That's kind of nifty. And lots of, boy, they just like sugar cane down here. A lot of sugar cane. A lot of sugar cane. It's my worst nightmare. And no railroad crossings for this uh, point here, so be careful. Um, it looks like we have the sawmill on the right-hand side. Is that part of it? No, nope, that's a residential sale. And then we have the smelter just up the road. So you can see the smelter in that big building over there. So sawmill, smelter. Um, and then we have another residential sale point just over the hill there. And straight ahead, looks like we have the, oh, the septic production. So I don't know if that's the equivalent to a BGA on here or not, but you do have the septic production there. Uh, and that looks like the, a railroad silo of sorts, maybe? Not sand. Where is all this stuff? So wood dryer, sand sail, let's uh, tag that. That's a sand sail over there. So I'm not sure what this is other than maybe a silo of some kind. It's not on the map. We have everything marked. Okay. Rent train. Yeah, it's probably part of the railroad. Well, there's the railroad silos over there. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what this is specifically, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what that is. Um, it just doesn't seem to be marked. But there's the railroad silo stuff right over there. So you have that over there for you. Uh, I think we're going to take a left, and we're going to head out around this way past kind of we got the animal dealer cell station, the bale sale, the animal dealer itself, and then another residential sale out that way. Yeah, I think we'll take a left here and head out that way. Let's hop past all this stuff here. Right around this corner here. We got some nice little circular fields here for almost like they didn't have those irrigation systems and stuff like that all set up. Um, and then right here we have the animal dealer, the bale sell point, the animal dealer sell point, and then we have another residential sale right there. So all that stuff in here for you. Looking at the map, I think, what should we do here? I think we'll go down. There's a lot of stuff up in that corner. We'll probably just hit that as a flyover, though. Yeah, so if you look at the map here, um, coming up, we have the pallet and plywood production. But up here, there's a lot of stuff going on. We have tire production, cement, asphalt factory, oil mill, 
Pioneer Palletizing, you have the, another residential sale, gas station sale, you have the gas station itself and another residential sale. So two residential sales, a bunch of other stuff up there. What are these guys here? We have the barge sell point. Those are kind of cool looking. Um, it's kind of how you go down to the river there. So we'll take a look at that. But yeah, I think we'll drive around out this way and kind of start working our way. Uh, we might cut. No, we'll just keep going around and up and out. Uh, endless stone tower. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're probably not going to go too much farther in car. We'll probably hop into um, doing a, a flyover here very soon. There's the barge cell point. Very cool down there. There's the access to them right there. There's the access road. All right. Nice open roads through here. Some nifty little kind of... Is that rock covering that or is that just painted on? It's painted on. Okay. Kind of looked like the stone texture for a second. I mean, obviously it's a stone texture, but you know what I mean. Looked like the like field stone texture. So but there might be stones there for you to grab if you wanted, but it does not look that way. Uh, but anyhow... As we're driving along here, we have the charcoal production right here on the right-hand side. And then coming up here, going up this way, we have chickens, cows, or kept chickens sheep. Those are ours, I believe. And then we can also put stuff into, what do they hit? I don't know what I hit. Uh, chickens and sheep up there. And we can also put stuff into the railroad, it looks like. South, well, South Grain, it looks like Cell Point. We can rent the train, though, over there for sure. It's in our grain. Yep, there's a grain silo west. Okay, perfect. We have the outhouse production and the trailer park. Trailer park's a production? All right, I'm sorry. I have to know. I have to know what the trailer park produces. I have to know. It shows up as a production. I have to know what the trailer park produces. You can't just, you can't, you gotta know. You gotta know. This is the outhouse production, which I'm, it's only $5,000. What do you need to build outhouses? Uh, Planks outhouse, okay. Um, Dry lumber outhouse, they're doubled up in there. I'm not sure why that is. But regardless, what is the what does the trailer park produce? I gotta know. Uh, two fifty. Good gravy. What are they? They better be making something good. I'm. Don't answer that question. <laughs> Who knows what they're cooking up in here? Uh, I gotta know what this is. Uh, furniture trash cans. They make trash cans and household compost. Okay, fair enough. And. You give them corn and they give you junk cars? What is this? <laughs> I can't handle it. I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. All right, we're going into flight mode. I'm too curious about these productions now. Uh, okay, so here's the trailer park. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, so yeah, as we go down this way, we have the quarry production and the car production. Now, the car production, I'm really curious about, actually. So the quarry production down there. And then here we have a massive quarry of stone for us. And there's the endless stones. So I believe you can just buy stone from here would be my guess. But there's a lot of stone down there. You'll never run out of stone. Um, and then this is the car production, which I am very curious about. Uh, I think I have to leave flight mode to be able to access it here. Okay, so 350. Okay, that's fair. Metal car. Okay, you just make cars. That's fair. That makes sense. Nothing crazy there. Nothing unexpected. Okay. The treasure parks was uninspected. I didn't think you could give them corn for junk cars. That is... That is that... Poor boy, you're making me laugh real hard on this. I think this might be the hardest I've ever laughed on a map tour. Uh, paper and cardboard plant. Continuing on. So as you can see, a lot of forestry through this section in here. Which is great. Paper and cardboard factory down there if you wanted to do that. I had a lot of forestry going on through here. You can do kind of whatever you wanted to do. Um... In the stone tower. What do we have down here? Carpentry point? Okay. And then we have the trash sale point. Which is right there. Interesting. Oh, train sell point, not trash. Good lord. It's like, why are we putting our trash in the middle of the railroad track? Uh, but that makes sense. Train sell point. I'm just stuck on so many things on here. Uh, okay. We got some nice lookout towers, which is kind of nifty. Um, and then over here looks like we have the oil production. Or cereal factory, excuse me. And then we have resident another residential sale there. And then this is a nifty little kind of lake area back here. We have the grain mill. Then we have the so grain mill, dairy. And then we have another animal pen over here, which I believe we own all these animal pens. There are pigs die there. Uh, we just own the land they're on. Uh, diner selling station. What else we have up there? Crude oil production. So crude oil up there. That looks pretty cool up there, actually. I like that. Um, we have the diner sell point down here, as well as a gas station. Gas station, diner. Cool. Uh, up over here, it looks like you have another animal pen. 
Uh, yep, cow barn right there for us. Up in the middle of the woods, what do we got up there? Oh, firewood production. We gotta go check that out just real quick. Uh, right down here. Yep, so there's your firewood production. Assume that's just you up there chopping wood all day. But there you go. I want to know how we get tanks. That's, I mean, you guys got to be curious too, right? We got to figure out how to get tanks. The old sawmills, we have two sawmills, which actually is really cool. I like that. Uh, feed production. Okay, feed production over here. Residential sale, residential sale. And we're getting back into town. So gold production. What kind of productions do we have? Used tires, bakery. There's got to be something down here. Tire production. Near Palatine Center. How do you get tanks? You gotta know how to get tanks. Charcoal production. The trailer park's not giving us any tanks, that's for sure. Uh, car production didn't give us any. Paper and cardboard plant. Carpentry. Maybe you can't possibly buy them. Material factory, crude oil. Bee production. I'm just curious. I'm just sorry, I apologize for my just. Just off the rails map tour today. Just completely off the rails here. Uh, septic, sawmill, those aren't going to make it. Wood dryer's not going to make it, that's for sure. Cement and asphalt. There's no tanks. That's going to drive me absolutely bonkers, not knowing that. Yeah, I have no idea. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I am super curious how you get tanks. And there are probably other people watching this, too, that are curious. I'm not sure. I mean, it could be just one of the ones that I'm just not expecting to have tanks. But anyhow, let's keep the tour going. I'll quit being so distracted about finding where I can manufacture tanks at. Um, okay, so yeah, we take a look. We're taking a look at all this stuff. Here's the kind of the industrial area, the last kind of area we haven't taken a look at. So got this set up over here, which looks nice. Uh, this is a really cool map, really unique. A lot of different feels to it on different parts of the map so i think really well done poor boy I really like it but there you guys go that is mason county by poor boy Monty. Um, if you guys enjoy this map tour please drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys for coming and watching i have no idea how you get tanks i apologize i'll see you guys in the next one all right just a quick amendment to this video i found the junk tanks they're these they're not actual tanks this photo of a vehicle is very misleading because uh, the junk dozers, let's see, junk loader looks like a loader and the junk dozer looks like a dozer. So I'm assuming you find these on the map, by the way. I didn't figure that out yet, but oh, yep. Anyhow, that's what I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.